Hello, it's Dave from Saturday Morning Astrophysics at Purdue. We're going to present a lesson, the inspiration for which we got from the Adler Planetarium in the heart of Chicago. The Adler is home to an interactive exhibit featuring the Atwood Sphere, the oldest operating sky simulator in the world. From inside this darkened sheet metal globe, the size of a room, you'll see 692 points of light, each meticulously matched to the Chicago night sky. Well, at least the night sky that was visible in 1913 when this was constructed. We'll show a little more about the Atwood Sphere a little later in the video, but for now, have a seat, gather your materials, and explore with us your soon-to-be favorite constellations and stars of your own night sky. This arrangement of stars is one of the most recognizable in the night sky. It has been independently recorded throughout history by over two dozen unrelated cultures from around the globe. In the United States, we call this constellation the Big Dipper. But different places and different countries and different cultures around the world, completely separated from each other, look at the same group of stars and form their own unique interpretations and thus have their own different names for this. For example, in the UK, this constellation is known as the Plough. Today, I will guide you through constellations and the stars that make up these constellations and how you can see them from the comfort of your own home. So now I'll show you how you can make your own constellation tube so you can see your constellations. Um, you want to either use a mailing tube for this, which is much more sturdier and larger, or just a regular paper towel tube. Using a piece of paper and pencil, you want to draw circles around the paper towel tube. And we can draw constellations in pretty well. I will be using Orion for today's demonstration. Draw in your stars. Once you have, once you've drawn your favorite constellation in, you want to cut out these paper circles. Now, once we have our rough circle, you want some aluminum foil squares, about four inches in air per side, but it just has to be larger than the tube that you were using, so we can wrap around it. Lay a towel down on your desk for the aluminum foil square, as well as your circle, paper circle with the constellation. Now we will poke holes in each of these stars using either the end of a paper clip, a push pin, or even a toothpick. I prefer the push pin because it goes through a lot more easily. And now that you have that, you're gonna hold it up to your paper tube. So once you have that aligned well, you can wrap the aluminum foil around it and use the end of a paper clip to make your stars just a little bit bigger so light can pass through them easily. Well, now that you have made your constellation tube, let's have a look through it, shall we? Astronomy is a fascinating area of physics that offers many exciting opportunities for your choice of career in science. It's what got me hooked. You can now use your new constellation tube to look at new and, un and unfamiliar constellations in the night sky. Find them and share them with your friends. Now, let's go back for a quick tour of the Atwood Sphere at the Adler Planetarium in Chicago. Similar to our constellation tubes, viewers from inside the darkened sphere see the stars and constellations as spin points of light coming from the outside. Check out the Adler online and learn about the many learning opportunities they provide. Thank you for joining us for Constellation Tubes. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Saturday morning astrophysics at Purdue.